Welcome. I'm the channeler, starseed, oracle, medium. Um, I come to give you messages from the light, from your ascended masters, and from spirit in all forms, right? Whatever is for your highest good. I will receive those messages and I will be able to bring them back to you. So this morning I woke up and I felt like this kind of like feeling in my heart. And it was like, it was that kind of feeling where you know you have to like give a message because I'm hearing someone feels like they're breaking down. Like, you know, and it could possibly be like that my energy is also like matching yours right now. Give me one second. Let me put this microphone in. Can you guys hear me with the microphone? Can you hear me with the microphone? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me with the microphone? Just want to make sure you can hear me with the microphone. Is it clear now? Voice is not clear. Okay. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to give you guys this message because um, I woke up, like, uh, Spirit Spirit wanted me to, like, give a message that was important, not just, you know. It's funny because sometimes I wake up, like, oh, I'm going to say this and let me say this to you directly because it's the first thing I thought of. Uh, and this is not to put that out there. Don't get scared, but this is just a message, right? I want, I want to prepare... I want to be the, the, the voice for you that, that, you know, others don't want to be. If you are driving, this is a message. Please don't look at anything. Don't look at your phones. Don't look at nothing. I'm talking like, you know, I, I don't know. For some reason, I woke up today, promised myself that, like, it's not, I don't look at my phone or nothing like that. But if my kid's not in a car, sometimes I'm not going to lie. I'd be, like, doing too much at once. Instead of like just focusing on straight up driving, sometimes, you know, you're putting the phone away or you're, you're changing the station on something. Like, you know, sometimes you just get too comfortable in the car because it's like you're so used to driving and you're just like, I'll be fine. And Which you are. You are safe. You are protected. But um, I'm just saying to you, like, Spirit wants me to... I love you, too. Thank you. Spirit wants me to just reiter reiterate that is to let you know, just like be careful with um, driving. If you're driving, just like watch the road and... Try not to look down or away from the car. That's just a message and it's not to scare anybody. Um, I'm going to get right into it. Okay, this, this is going to be a message. Of, all right, here we go. Mm -hmm. It's crazy because I'm thinking and I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And then what do we got here? what's coming up what I'm thinking about okay I'll leave it all right some of you are coming to a point it's like burnout energy okay um you need to rest you need time to rest like, if you really tapped into this message, especially, you need that time to rest. It's been a lot of, um, I'm hearing, like, trying to make it. I'm hearing, this is like that hustler mode energy. Like, I gotta hustle, I gotta hustle, I gotta hustle. I gotta get this done. I gotta get that done because you're, you're afraid, like, you're not gonna be, like, it's not, you're not gonna be able to keep up with it, whatever this is. I would really... Watch this in a meditative state because this is one of those readings where I can sense the guides are heavy. I just saw something fly right by my eyes. Like, like this is heavy, heavy um, guide energy, ascended master energy, Capricorn. If you have a, this is a specific message. If your grandmother was a Capricorn, or if you're out, or if you're a Capricorn with a grandmother who passed away, this is like direct communication from her. I keep hearing your dad. I'm hearing your dad as well too, okay? And I see detach right there. I'm, I'm not even working with that deck, but this is a look popping up to me right here, detach. Okay? If you're stepping into this reading, this, you need to hear this. Like this is on, this is the time for you to relax and to take time. Yeah, to take time for yourself. 
you have a lot that you want to do and spirit is completely with you on it but if you don't take like this is like the energy of like it's not we're not telling you like take a break or else but it's more like you need to take a break so you can get back to this like and you can be like fully prepared and focused for this because for some reason you've been kind of like I'm here and like just really look it's like her look just fighting off the fences like she's just constant training I'm here and it's like training for battle it's like not only that I'm, I'm gonna say this there wants you to know not only have you been doing a lot of work here like in this dimension but in the astral realms you've been doing massive amounts of work and you're tired Okay? Your body's tired, your spirit is tired, and it wants to rest. And like, it's funny because I got that message for myself. It's time to rest, right? Spirit says to me, go on vacation, do something for a week or two, go out into nature, into the woods. And I, it's funny because I heard that message and I got on and I started working, right? Exact opposite of what I was told. But here's the thing. I feel like many of us need to hear this message and... You know, as somebody who works with the Ascended Masters and the beings of the light and even beings of darkness that sometimes will channel energy from the lower astral realms and only because they also have wisdom too. Because their darkness has, they've got experience in their pain. So I can use that to cheat, teach others not to go through the same thing. You understand? And when I say darkness, I don't mean like I'm, I'm working with demons because I don't do that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think people genuinely do that on purpose unless they're like... They're into that type of stuff. I'm not. <laughs> and yo, look what's crazy, you guys. I'm going to show you two different decks now. We know this message is real. Because again, we got Capricorn energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Two different decks. <clears throat> <clears throat> Both of them coming off as a double. Two different decks. Okay. <clears throat> this is... Okay, some of you... <clears throat> let's clear it in the throat please please some of you have been going through massive shadow work releasing some sort of addiction or something you've been holding on to <clears throat> something you've been holding on to something with sexuality you're not either experiencing sexuality the way you want to or you're afraid of it or something toxic <clears throat> with sexuality for you this is a message just all i can tell you is that this is how it's coming through okay guys this is okay let me sip my coffee real quick because bitch spirit is getting into it now and they're <clears throat> <clears throat> like my throat is super dry right now it's like they don't even want me to talk <clears throat> all of a sudden i got like a stuck here right here <clears throat> All right, I'm going to tell you guys something. <coughs> <coughs> Let me tell you guys, it's been, give me a second. It's been almost a month and a half. This cough has not subsided. And I and I go to doctors and they're just like, oh, you know, just let it go away. I'm like, bitch, it's been two months. <laughs> get, hold on a second, you guys. Let me get something from my throat. Give me a second. <coughs> <coughs> She's just a skinny little Benny. Look at that baby. Oh, I hear baby. Opa. Okay. My skinny mini Benny. I had to give her a full haircut because uh, I wanted her to grow fresh hair because her hair was kind of getting like a little what happened? Tangly and like all over the place. So I was just wanting to get her like fresh hair growing it. You know, we all need a haircut. We all need a haircut. So, um, I'm going to tell you guys something too, okay? Spirit really wants you to understand. They see that you're, it's not, you're, like, you're not in survival mode. This is almost like a person who's getting ready for throwing up dehydrated from a weakness. 
Today I woke up to my family doing the same thing along with, uh, yeah, it's, um, this is spirit once, this is not a somber, sad reading. I swear to God, she sees spirit. She's just like coughing at, at the air. I mean, barking at the air. Um, th this is not a somber reading. She's really fighting something right now on the bed. I'm not even kidding. She's just like, like, you know, but it's not in a scary way. She just sees them. So like they're floating around. Yep. I'm getting hit in the head right now. Very big headache on my right side, left side of my head. Um, she sees them. My dog is a, a seer. She sees spirit. So, I mean, all animals do, but some just don't give a shit. They ignore that shit. And I know that she sees it. And that's a message. Maybe your animal sees it and you get, like, freaked out or something at night. And you're like, what the fuck? My dog seen ghosts or what? Like, you know, it's not about ghosts, though. I had a dream. And I'm going to tell you guys this. In the dream, I was explaining to them, you know, I was explaining to the people. I went to visit them in, a, in some, some dimension that was very, like, Again, with the trains and the traveling and the astral, because that's how we travel with train, just like we do here, as above, so below. Um, and we were traveling on the train. And um, I was like, you know, I was like, yo, I was like, uh, stop talking about spirit like that. I'm like, you guys keep calling them like ghosts and, and demons and all that. I'm like, they're energy. So if it's a dark, forceful energy, it's going to be a dark energy, a, a cloud around you. People start getting depressed and not feeling good because of that so-called dark energy. And if it's a light energy, you're gonna feel the love and the comfort and the peace, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's two different feelings. Like, and it's an energy force field. Like it's, think of vibrations, energy, you know what I mean? So you need, this message is really important, you guys, for those of you who are here, and it doesn't have to be for everybody, obviously it's not for everyone, right? But this is how spirit came through to me this morning. As soon as they woke up, they were like, you got to take a break from where you are. Some of you, it's your environment, your family, your where you live, where you work. These people are affecting your energy or I'm hearing their addictions are affecting your behavior. For some of you, they're, <clears throat> somebody's drinking or taking pills or something around you. And it's actually affecting you. And as much as you want to not blame others because you're not that type to be like, oh, it's their fault. Your guides want you to know that it's it's definitely affecting your aura. And we do see 10, 10 there. Thank you, guys. We do see 10, 10. And that's a completion of a cycle. Like, you're over something. You're like, I'm so done with this shit. But it's funny because you keep saying I'm done with it and going back to it. Like, I've been through this many times in my life where I said I was done with something and, and, and went back to it over and over again. Because guess what? Sometimes we just, you know, we're just... It's hard to let things go because you're just stuck on it, you know? You're stuck on it. And you <laughs> get your mouth over that. Thank you. Okay. Sometimes you're just stuck on it, you know what I mean? Because you can't. And sometimes it has a lot to do with the people around you. They affect you. You're an empathic soul. I'm going to tell you right now, you're empathic. You need to know that because you're not, like, giving yourself the credit for the type of empathy you're able to feel. <clears throat> and you're, like, waiting for something to... Okay. Go back to it. Let's go back. Let's go back. I'm going to tell you something. I keep getting the throat chakra area and they keep um, sending me to the throat chakra area. <sighs> Some of you have done a lot of shadow work this year. I mean, like, I'm drained from thinking about the amount of shadow work that I've done this year karma clearly like, i'm over it <laughs> it's like i'm done with that can i can i um, can we enjoy our lives now because like uh, highly vibrational people very high vibrational beings that have messages that are messengers we experience and i'm talking about you we experience the worst type of shadow work we get really dark shadow work that we have to deal with because we're clearing generations of karma lifetimes of karma and we're taking on that responsibility. And I think like at this point, your guides want you to just throw your hands up to the air and just be like, hey, I'm tired, man. Like, I can't take on anymore. Like, you know, you don't have to be the superhero because you've been the superhero this whole time. You've been literally fighting off other people's demons. And that's like not, that's not fair to you. That's not fair. Like, it's really not fucking fair, you know? And I'm just tired. Like, I'm hearing that for me and for you. I'm just tired, I'm hearing. Like, you need to throw... The way he's throwing those swords away from him, you need to do that. It's time to be like, you know what? 
and he's got the ten of swords there. This this cycle, take the ten of swords and just go. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm done. I'm done. And I'm fucking done. Spirit wants you to go out and enjoy yourself, celebrate, have fun, and look at that. We got the Ten of Cups there and the Three of Cups. That's celebration. Go out, enjoy yourself, enjoy yourself, enjoy. Go out and just be free, be be silly, have fun, laugh, be gay and marry. Like, look at this dude. He's fat. He's got money. He's happy. He just ate a good ass meal. And he, he looks greedy as a motherfucker. But guess what? Self-love, baby, sometimes takes a bit of greed, okay? Because you've been doing a lot of internal work, yo. Listen, let me tell you, it's enough. Spirit wants you to, like, fuck that shit right now. You see that? Your guides are huddling around you. Look, that. I see that as your guides huddling around you. And they're like, listen, we know that you've been going through this and we're just trying to fucking help you. Listen, the ancestors, look at the ancestors. Look at them around you. Look, look, look. And I see male-dominated ancestral DNA for you. Like a lot of male dominance. And some of them are too serious. Too serious for too, too, way too serious. And I see the female there and she's trying to <clears throat> tell them like, you know, she's got to enjoy herself too. She can't be all serious all the time. It needs to be like fun too for her too, you know? She's not having fun like me. Or he's not having fun. Like, you see, you got... Okay. I'm going to show you what this is looking like to me. Do you see how she's like, hey, back off, everybody back off. I'm a trained master. I'm a master at my art form. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm very wise, very... Look at that. She's She needs to go and tell the guides and the ancestors, hey, I need a break. I can't do this anymore. Because in a sense, you're like standing in the middle. You're the chosen one. And you have a bunch of spirit and, and ancestors and guys. My heart chakra is boom, boom, boom right now. And you're the chosen one. You have a bunch of guys and ancestors around you. And, and essentially, you all they chose you. you. You chose to come. So you was like in this circle. And like everybody huddled up. And like, who's going to go down there and do this and do that for us and do that? And you were like, I can do it. I can do it. I'll go. And you like thought of it as nothing, but you did a lot. You did a lot. And now, honestly, it's affecting you to like where you're like, I'm getting a heat right now. I feel like passing out. Like it's affecting you to the point where you're just like, I'm I like, you don't want to admit it though. Cause you want, listen, whoever you are, I'm getting a vision of somebody here. I'm just going to say, I'm seeing a straight up white girl with like dirty blonde hair. And like, you're just trying to make it through. And I'm saying, this is just one vision I'm getting of a person. I'm saying, this is everyone. But whoever you are, I'm seeing you really be tired. And you don't want to admit it. Because you have this image to uphold. I'm here. Like, I got to show that I'm powerful. I'm strong. I'm able to do this. Like, I can tell you time and time again. I will let my clients know. My personal clients. My private clients. I'm too tired this week. You have to give me to next week. And if they don't want to wait, that's on them. You know? It's, I can't, I, I can't do things when I can't do things. I have to let the collective know, hey guys, I'm going on a four day break. I, I'll see you when I come back. See, yeah, some people are afraid to do that because, oh, what if the followers stop following? Then they don't really care about you and they don't need to be following you anyway. They don't need to be your supporters because we don't need followers. We need supporters. If you look for followers, you're looking for ego. I don't need followers. I need people to support me, support who I truly am. Called out from work today. Exactly the type of energy I'm talking about. This is This is a very powerful message. And, you know, I give positive messages all the time. And this is a positive message because you need to hear. Like, you're balancing shit like this. This is how you are. You're just, like, out here balancing the shit out of your life. Like, with one foot, dude. My guy is balancing. All, you're doing it all. Look at the mirror. Doing the mirror work over here. And then balancing these staffs. And you're just... Like you're not you're not a fucking uh, performing monkey in a cage. You need to go out and be free. This is who you are, the emperor. This is who you are, and the emperor has a lot of responsibilities. Listen, man, this message is gonna be like, bro. Well, hold on, look what just came after the emperor. Look what just came after the emperor, the empress. Male or female, this is you. It's like, you know, you need to... 
and I don't mean say it this way, but you need to have serve some somebody serve you now. It's time for the servants to come up and take care of you now. It's like you've been taking care of the servants this whole time. And now it's like, mm, hey, servants, step up. I'm tired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's time to rest. It's really time to rest. Daydream, meditate on what you want. You see he's got food up there. He's thinking of, of coins, food. <clears throat> yep, he's got food, coins. Uh, he's got a plant, tree growing there. Uh, abundance, fruitfulness, okay? He's got money with a with the... He's got diamonds with a ruby right there in the middle of it. And he's got crystal diamonds here too as well. And he's dreaming this. He's manifesting it. Right now, Spirit wants you to manifest what you need. Not to think of like... Yeah, you need to talk into the moon. I'm getting that. Being out in nature. Talking to nature. I'm getting these messages from these cards. You know, I don't... Uh, it's time for a break for you. Okay, so wherever you are, I hope this message really helps you because I think that you really needed to hear it. Mm -hmm. I think it's time for you to go go and take a break. And it's funny, I was like, go and take a break, but like somebody just asked me if I can go to their house and stay there for like three days to help him clean and with the kids and stuff like that. And I'm like, I gotta take a break anyway. But I'm like, but if I go there, that's not a break, you know? But I still have to go and help them because, you know, that's the kind of person I am. So... Um, but, you know, I want to, I want to, but it's, it's really, see that <clears throat> guys, the tower with the magician right there, the tower, tarot, tarot, the tower card with the magician next to it. You guys, there's going to be a sudden change. Okay. And this is going to be like creating some action. This is going to be like, it's going to help you to, to manifest these things that you've been wanting. You know, the things you've been wanting spirit wants you to know you're not asking for too much if that's what you're thinking because some of you I think you're, you're like what if I'm asking maybe spirit don't want me to ask for that maybe I'm ask. no wow you guys wait a minute here look at this look at that do you see that that's the six of coins with the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles it's the six of pentacles so you got you're giving and receiving and sharing wealth you're able to you're going to be able to do that wealth financial security like listen this is the thing there's a sudden change and then these two came up so there could be something with money coming in and spirits trying to prepare you for that i'm getting like a strong buzzing vibration right here and this and it feels very like you know <clears throat> take a fucking break walk away for a little bit let it go let it go and let it come to you oh my baby Are you tired today? Yeah. Oh, my baby. I love you. I love her so much. All right, you guys. It's like she knows, like, oh, mommy's doing that thing over there again. Let me just lay here for a little bit and be quiet. And she's just laying there cuddled up like a little bunny rabbit, you know? All right, guys. Take the message and listen to what your guys are telling me, telling me and you, telling, telling you, uh, you heard me, telling me, they're telling me this, <laughs> me and you, <laughs> me, take time to rest and know it's hard for those of us who are true life hustlers and we just want to create and you know, I know me, I have a 12 year old daughter and let me tell you something, she's expensive, okay? And let me tell you, people could be like, well, don't buy her. Say no. I'm like, no. Because when I was little, I heard the word no a lot because my mom had four kids. And she was just trying to make it, boo-boo. And, like, I heard the word no all the time. Pretty much, no, you can't go to your friend's house. No, you can't have that. No, you can't go shopping. You know, it started when, when we were, like, 14, 15. That's when she started working as a paralegal and started getting the money. So then we were able to, like, get a little. <clears throat> but as a kid, kid, we, we didn't have, we had to share each other's clothes and do all that stuff. You know, so I don't want her to be, she's not spoiled. So what does she ask me for? Starbucks every day? That's nothing. She don't want to shop every day. She's not a spender. She don't, matter of fact, she saves money and she'll sometimes, she, yesterday she came in my room with $40 and she goes, mommy, can you wake up? Take me to Starbucks. And I looked at her like, bitch, my credit card is ran up from Starbucks. Literally $800 on one credit card. But don't forget, this is all we have to do right now. We don't go out with our friends, nothing. And it's not because we're losers. It's because we're empaths. And my daughter's a lot like me. And when she hangs out with kids her age, she goes, they're so immature. 
I can't stand them. Like she, it's not that she's being mean. She just can't be around kids because she's, if you met her, you'd be like, bitch, that bitch is like 40 in her 12 year old body. She ain't a normal kid. Okay. She's a Virgo rising and a cancer sun. She has three cancer, sun, moon, Virgo rising, and Venus is cancer. So three, sun, moon, Virgo rising, Venus, cancer. Do you know what that means, bro? You know? Crazy. Crazy. That bitch is crazy. She's like my sister in a mini. Last night she swung at me. Because <laughs> I, I fake pulled her hair and this bitch swung at me like this. I was like, whoa, whoa. Hold on, bitch. You know what I'm saying? She's a lot stronger than me. I'm like, I can't fight you no more. I'm too tired. You know what I'm saying? Hello, UK. I'm telling you. She's a mini, my sister. I told her, if you if don't fight kids your age, because you're going to end up knocking them the fuck out, and I'm going to have to be at the police station fucking picking you up. She's like... You know, this is tall and shit. She's t as tall as I am. She's only 12. Let me just... I'm saying this for a reason, bro. I, I want to say this too for the single mothers out there and the single fathers out there. Like to anybody who's like, oh, you shouldn't collect child support. Whatever the fuck it is. Tell them to fuck off, okay? Because the normal amount of rate for a person to get child support is like, I think, 270 to 80 a month for most people. You can go fuck yourself with that money, Okay? Okay, I just bought my daughter sneakers the other day. Oh, it cost me two twenty five for everything. Like me, hello, my daughter. Yeah, my do my sister's daughter is an Aries. That's that should have been my daughter, and she should have been her daughter. But that's how it goes. You end up with who you who you butt butt heads with most of your life. Your child ends up being like that person. So. If anything, my daughter, my sister taught me all the patience I need. Look at that for my daughter because my daughter's just like her. Doesn't like people, doesn't deal with things, doesn't want to see nobody. She's antisocial, doesn't trust nobody. Is my sister to a T. And my my daughter, <laughs> my daughter, my sister's daughter, I taught her patience with her daughter because her daughter's active, always wants to go places, wants to talk to everybody, will jump in some stranger's fucking house if she if she's not like that. But like, she's like, hey, hi, like, that's me. And my my daughter's like, oh, don't talk to me, don't touch me. Ew, she touched that. Ah. Ew, she touched it. Like, <laughs> what is wrong with you all? It would be spot on. Yeah, I mean, somebody just texted me yesterday. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Somebody yesterday texted me. She was like, Flo, you gave me a reading about eight months ago, and you told me that this will come. Usually readings come true within six to eight months. And she's like, I got my own apartment. She goes, you you, you, you said I was going to be standing in the kitchen wearing a uniform. I'm an EMT. I, I saw myself. She was in the, in the reading because she had recorded the reading, which I tell people to do all the time. But a lot of them don't. Um, the same thing I said. It was like, you'll be standing in the kitchen wearing a uniform um, in, in your new apartment. And everything I said, she was like, I was standing there, bitch. Everything you said, I looked around. Oh, my God. My man, my, my husband was on the other side. Not husband, but boyfriend was on the other side. She goes, everything you said. I was like, readings take about six to eight months to manifest. Unless I'm doing a reading like I am right now. Like, hey, guys, you need to rest and you need to relax. And you know, <laughs> my, my little mush. Yes, I know. I know. She kisses my nose because I don't like how my mouth is. My little baby. So, yeah. So, you know, guys, this is your time, man. Relax. Rest. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I do private readings. Like I said, you guys, I, I'm just going to tell you right now. It has to be through... Um, do you mind doing a read? I'm just going to tell you straight out right now so you don't bother me and you don't waste your time. It's three fifty for an hour of my time. Three fifty, Or if you're going to do half an hour, it's 200 And I'm just saying, it was 250 but I decided to lower it. But 250 is what I should be charging. Because, bitch, you motherfuckers be draining me. I'm just going to say. <laughs> your guys are... I'm like... When I'm done, I'm like... Mm. People are like, oh, my mom, my mom goes, you can do three readings a day. You can make so much money. I'm like, bitch, you do three readings a day. Like, do you think that I just pick up the cards and go, um, you know, you know. So, yeah. So, that's the kind of man. Hey, 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 hey,
No, I'm like, that's how I give readings. It's a whole opera scenario. Like the fucking clarinet. I'm playing the clarinet, the drums. I'm the... I'm the guy in the back. I'm the opera singer. That's what I'm hearing during a reading. Do you think it's a game out here? <laughs> Shit. Bitch, I swear to God. Damn, skip me. I'm going to charge 200 350 an hour. Damn, skip me. Because that's guess what? Guess what? You either pay me 350 for one session, therapy session, or keep paying a the therapist for the rest of your life so they can keep asking you. How does that make you feel? <laughs> it makes me feel like shit because you keep taking my money and doing nothing. Yeah, don't just do, you don't just do it for the money. I know, and you know, I could. Like, my family will all say to me, bitch, just do it. I'm like, no, you're not understanding. If I just do this for the money, the guys will stop working with me. <laughs> you don't get it. My guys are not these kind of guys where they're just like, just make money. No, they're like, bitch, do things from your morals or we're not going to work with you. Because I don't work with greedy lower vibrational assholes who just care about money i work with the big guys they don't give a shit about money money to them is like scoff at money they scoff at money you know what i'm saying they're they're not ascended masters you think jesus gave a fuck about money no he went in front of the church and he flipped over the table like that's how it goes like money ain't everything to me the only reason i need i want to make it is because i want to secure my daughter and my family and my nieces and nephews okay yeah so, right, and you know how it is. Um, look at Luma la siempre, and we understand that because we work hard. We work from the gut up. You know, I'm, I work very hard with from my gut and with my heart and my soul and my passion. I'm not a. How do we book it? Okay, so yeah, so um, this week and next week I have like I think like ten more days to finish up like twelve more clients. And then you could, um, you'll, I mean, you could book, book it now because so you could put, be put on the list. But if you're going to book it, I'm going to show you right now easily. So you could do it now. Here's the cash app. Angel Squad. Listen to me. If you're coming to me and you're not coming to me for real healing, I will return your money. I really don't care. Like I said, um, cash app. And that's not to be mean. Angel Squad 111. That's my cash app. Or you could do um, PayPal. I mean, you could do PayPal which is angels in training, just like I'm saying, angels in training, 111 at gmail.com. I'm right. I'm going to write them now. So you got them there. Okay. So yes, watch this live, write it down. Just like I'm saying it, angels in training, 111 at gmail.com. Cash up, dollar sign, angel squad, A-N-G-E-L-S-Q-U-A-D-111 or Zell. I know they're all different, but you know what? It has to be like that. And then Zell is Lena Kaya Gmail at gmail dot com. Lena Kaya eighty two at gmail dot com. So I'll spell that out so everybody has it. So it's L I N A K A J A eighty two at gmail dot com. Okay, so you could either Zell Cash App or PayPal. Remember to write your name and your phone number, and for for half an hour, send the two hundred. And say, for a reading, my name is Boom. My phone number is Boom. So I could text you right away and be like, hey, I got your payment. We're going to schedule you. You know, give me time to finish these clients. And then I'll put you next on the schedule. And I will always, like, tell you ahead of time, 200 for half an hour is 350 for an hour. Okay? Um, I really don't want to do 200 for half an hour. I really wanted to charge more. But I'm going to do that for a little bit so people can get some... <coughs> People can get extra. If it's on PayPal, you got to send to 20 because I pay a $20 fee on PayPal. Just letting you know. And I'm going to tell you guys like this. I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. I work with energy. So if I'm like, yo, I don't feel good today. I'll do it tomorrow. You have to be patient with me. You have to. Your guides will not let me do the reading when I'm not 100%. Or you're not 100%. I've had people like wait two, three weeks. Some One girl, one girl waited a month. And she, she was like, I understand. Don't worry. My guides are. I know why they're doing this. I'm going through some. Afterwards, right after she moved into her apartment and did everything, she got the reading. She was like, if I didn't wait until now, if I would have waited, I wouldn't have heard a single thing you said. So you could use Zoom or um, or my FaceTime. My FaceTime on my phone. I use Zoom or my FaceTime. So what you want to do is after you send it, make sure you write your name and you write, Flo, I booked, I booked a reading. Um, this is my phone number. And then write your phone number. 
You could even email any one of those email addresses and say, I booked, here's my phone number, and I'll go check. I see the booking, I see your phone number. I text you, hey, it's Flo, say, store this number, I will text you back with the schedule. What happened? Why are you yelling at me? Okay, I'm done. I'm done, okay? See? My alarm caught COVID. Or she's like, Mom, hurry the fuck up. Okay. She's like, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. I swear to God, there's something, a soul inside her that I have to listen to. Mm -hmm. There's a soul inside of her. She came to me for a reason. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you guys later. Please take the message from... I'm not kidding. I swear to God, when she looks at me sometimes. Okay. Last night. No, the night before. I drank this thing. It's called weed water. The kid at the vape shop, every time I go get a vape, he's like, you have to try this. I know you don't smoke weed. I'm like, no, it's going to get me high. I'm going to be over there. He's like, Flo, drink this. So I drank the weed water. I literally, because I don't do anything, right? So I took this much of the weed water, bitch. I was like, it hit me. <laughs> my dog started looking weird to me. Every, I was like, like my dog was talk. I was talking to her like she was a human. I swear to God, she answered me. I'm not <laughs> I was like, never again. Right, baby? I jump, 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 jump. scared. Oh, I love her. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, okay? Toodaloo. I just saw Toodaloo, Toodle Eddie, and I just said Toodaloo. <laughs> bye, guys. Love you, bye. Don't do that stupid shit. <laughs> I'm not, bitch. I'll be at home bored as hell. Ooh, we're ending the live at 5-5. Five, five. You like that shit, right? I'm a pothead. <laughs> I can't be a pothead. I'd be too much of a pothead if I was a pothead. I had to <laughs> Love you. Bye. Bye, guys.